Hi everyone, I am Teacher Eds. I am glad that you're here again. For today's discussion, I am going to be your buddy. Before we start our discussion, let's answer some questions that will measure your knowledge and skills. Are you ready, kids? Alright. Let's try! How much will 25 kilograms of rice cost at 24 pesos per kilo? The answer is 600 pesos. Teacher Garcia ordered 40 pens at 12 pesos each. How much did he pay for the pens? The answer is 480 pesos. There are 300 Filipino books arranged in one shelf of a school library. If there are six shelves, how many books are there in all? There are 1,800 books. T-shirts are sold on a buy one take one basis. If a shirt costs 120 pesos, how much will you pay for 10 t-shirts? The answer is 1,200 pesos. A farm contains 8 rows of trees. If there are 10 trees in a row, how many trees are there? There are 80 trees. Class, do you have any idea what are we going to discuss today? What do you think is our topic for today? Alright, our lesson for today is solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of full numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Before we start, let us define what is routine problem solving. Do you have any idea what is routine problem solving? Alright. Routine problem solving is a type of problem with an immediate solution. How about what is non-routine problem solving? Non-routine problem solving is also known as creative problem solving because it requires some degree of creativity or originality. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways and with a variety of strategies. To solve routine and non-routine word problems, we have to follow several steps. First, understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. Find the necessary information. Second, plan. Determine the operation to be used. Write the number sentence. Third, solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. Last, check and look back. 
see if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Let's try to solve this routine problem. There are 312 baskets of guavas. Each basket has 4 guavas. How many guavas are there in all? In solving routine problem, we can follow the steps that I have mentioned a while ago. Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. 2. Know what is asked for in the problem. You can write it as how many guavas are there in all or the total number of guavas. Find the necessary information. The necessary information refers to the given facts. Given facts are the important numbers that we can use in solving the problem. In this problem, the given facts are 312 baskets and 4 guavas in each basket. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. The operation that we are going to use is multiplication. Write the number sentence. The number sentence is 312 times 4 is equal to n. Step 3. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. So we are going to multiply 312 and 4. 312 times 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Therefore, the answer is 1,248. Now, step 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. There are 1,248 guavas in all. Let's try to solve this non-routine problem. There are 18 animals in my aunt's house. Some are ducks and some are cats. There are 50 legs in all. How many ducks and how many cats are there? What is the first thing to do in solving this problem? What operation will you use? What is your answer? Alright. Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. You can write it as how many ducks and how many cats are there or the number of cats and ducks in my aunt's house. Find the necessary information. The given facts are ducks have two legs, cats have four legs, there are 50 legs in all. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. Make a table for this problem until a pattern becomes clear. You can start with 0 ducks and 18 cats. Step 3. Solve. Solve using the operation. We can see here that using the pattern, we have 11 ducks which has 2 legs and 7 cats which has 4 legs. That makes it 50 legs. Step 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. There are 11 ducks and 7 cats in Ant's house. Let's wrap up our lesson. 
to analyze and solve the problem, you can use these steps. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. Find the necessary information. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Solve the problems following the steps you learned in this lesson. A Sari Sari store sells 1,525 bottles of soda in a month. If a bottle costs 15 pesos, how much is the sale of the Sari Sari store in a month?
Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. You can write it as, How much is the sale of the Sari Sari store in a month? Or, the monthly sale of the Sari Sari store. Find the necessary information. The given facts are, 1,525 bottles of soda and bottle cost 15 pesos. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. The operation we are going to use is multiplication. Write the number sentence. 1,525 times 15 is equal to N. Step 3. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. 1,525 times 15 is equal to 22,875. Step 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. There are 22,875 pesos sale of the Sari Sari store in a month. Giuseppe baked cupcakes every weekend. Each day during the week, she took 13 cupcakes to school to share with her friends. How many had she baked in 3 weeks?
Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. You can write it as, how many heads you bake, or the number of cupcakes baked in a week. Find the necessary information. The given facts are, 13 cupcakes to school a day, 5 school days, and 3 weeks. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. The operation we are going to use is multiplication. Write the number sentence. 13 times 5 is equal to n. 3 times n is equal to x. Step 3. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. Thirteen times five is equal to sixty-five. Sixty-five times three is equal to one hundred ninety-five. Step four: Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Gisette baked one hundred ninety-five cupcakes in three weeks. Thanks for watching. Remember to review this video for the enhancement of learning. See you next time. Bye!